Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to find users and their Active Directory groups in SQL Server. In this demo, we'll be learning how to find which Active Directory group a user belongs to in SQL Server. Number two, how to find members of an Active Directory group in SQL Server. Scenario up here is being a DBA, you receives a request that uh, a particular user needs to be added in SQL Server and it has it needs to have access to SQL Server. However, you are not sure that if that particular user is a member of an Active Directory group that has already access to SQL Server. So if this is the case, this demo is going to help you. We're going to go ahead and use a T SQL script in order to find that out. So here's my SQL Server right here. Let's uh, let me show you first. If you expand your security, expand your login, and if you see icon right here with the single user right here, it's a user in SQL Server. And if you see multiple uh, guys right here that would be uh, an active directory group in SQL Server. So let's go ahead and load our script. This is my script. In first part right here we're using basically uh, xp underscore login info uh, that's extended store procedure and we're using that to find that information out. So up here first we have uh, if you have an uh, active directory group already in um, your um, SQL Server instance, you can find the members out by running this script. So let's go ahead and run this script. As you can see that uh, in my case, this particular SQL DB reader group has two members. One is Tech Brothers G. Bailey and other is Tech Brothers uh, Kevin Scott. And right here where it says permission path, that path that would be basically your active directory group that this user belong to if this user belong to multiple um, active directory groups that might show up here if it is a part of SQL Server login so uh, that is one way to find out the members of uh, active directory group let's say that this is the user that you got request in email or a request system that this particular user G Bailey or George Bailey needs to have access to this SQL Server and you wanted to find out because the best practices are that you go ahead and um, uh, add the Active Directory groups rather than creating logins for every user that you create in SQL Server because it'll create a clutter later on for you to clean up. So uh, the good DBA, what they will do is create Active Directory groups and add those Active Directory groups into SQL Server and give access that way. So let's go ahead and find which Active Directory group this particular user belong to so that we can go ahead and add that particular uh, Active Directory group. So let's go ahead and execute. Up here where it says permission path, again, this is uh, this user's group. If you if you go ahead and add this Active Directory group, this user is part of that and give permission. Keep in mind that uh, you don't want to just go ahead and give this uh, uh, um, Active Directory group access to SQL Server because there might be some other users who don't need to have access to SQL Server. But uh, you need to find a right, uh, basically right uh, Active Directory group to add to SQL Server. But this is, uh, in this demo, I'm just gonna show you that uh, you can, if you if you don't have uh, uh, remote Active Directory users uh, installed on your local machine, however, you do have uh, Management Studio open and that um, you have the Active Directory group in your SQL Server and you would like to know the members of that particular group, you can go ahead and run this script and it'll show you all the members, whether they exist. As you can see that Kevin Scott or George Bailey doesn't exist basically in SQL Server. However, it's showing you that it is uh, uh, the, the these are the par uh, users that belong to this particular Active Directory group. And up here, if you wanted to find out the single user and its Active Directory group, right here, you can find this out. And I hope this short demo helps you.